Welcome to Elevated Daily, the show where we go ahead and review current and past pop culture films, television shows, and entertainment. I'm your host, Gabe, and today we're going to talk about Harley Quinn Season 1, Episode 7, Blind. So in this episode, Harley Quinn is still desperate to go ahead and show herself worthy of the Legion of Doom. So she attempts to break out and change none other than Queen of Fables. We already know her story previously from, I believe it was episode three. And the Queen of Fables is voiced by none other than, of course, Wanda Sykes. And she's absolutely hilarious in here. Queen of Fables offers to go ahead and be Harley Quinn's mentor and show her how to be a supervillain. But Harley soon finds out that she bit off way more than she can chew when she sees how truly violent and vile the Queen of Fables really is. Meanwhile, the Legion of Doom is actually trying to go ahead and recruit Ivy, who is doing everything she can to deny them because she doesn't want to step over Harley's you know, feet or anything. But they want her for her awesome superpower, eco-terrorism skills. She also has to deal with the awkward advances of Kite Man, that low, <laughs> low level thug in the Legion of Dooms, who does kind of like her. He has a crush on her and she is doing everything she can to go ahead and just disregard him. Even though, you know, he is kind of endearing and becoming a little bit more to her. If you remember, she also wanted to know, you know, does he talk about her? I, again, I believe that was episode three. <laughs> oh no, on episode two. On episode three, Ivy still asks, you know, does Kite Man even did he mention her? So she still has a thing for him and definitely want to go ahead and see where that's going to go because it seems that they are more compatible than they originally thought, or at least than she thought. Kite Man, hell yeah. This episode is full of action, comedy, and character development. We also see how Ivy and Harley, their villainy and their villainous ideas are different and their morals are different. And is that gonna go ahead and be a compatible part of their friendship or is that gonna be something that's gonna hinder it going forward? This is definitely one of the better episodes of the season, I believe. All right, YouTube, definitely wanna have your thoughts on there. So drop me a line, like, comment, and subscribe to Elevated Daily so we can go ahead and produce more of these shows for you and get some more content out there. Picture. Better than the picture they use of me. Hey, we <laughs> soon. Are we still gonna get our weekly coffees? If I'm not too busy getting my fuck on, huh? do it. If none of them could steal it, that seems like a pretty good indicator. <laughs> we should not try. No, but but <laughs> right, King so Shark. Furious, they'll have to notice us. I said backstory thing. Nay, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's necessary. Game for the first time. To the wind. Clemace, intel. <sighs> they don't let him have any fun. Be the queen of. Oh my god, and you're gone. Yeah, you shouldn't hear any of that shit. Damn, they handled the to her. Everybody. Oh. oh my god, it's him! Oh, he's so cool! <laughs> he makes the best bed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harley. <laughs> That's so uh, twisted. The only way to get the Legion of Doom's attention is <laughs> with her machine, and she's gonna have to steal it. No, 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 no. Oh god, she's still she's mixing not him. Gonna get involved with this bitch. She is like a real legit bad guy. Dude, you're a bad guy, but you're a good person. Yeah, I don't know. I bad is bad. Ugh. All right, let me try this. No, there is a difference. You're like broadcast bad. She's cable bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bouquet of roses? You realize that's like handing me a bunch of baby heads, right? Tight <laughs> <laughs> baby right, man. Guess he's one step ahead of you. <sighs> oh, he is precious. But are you sure Cinderella's mouse is up for the job? <laughs> the dude's a psycho. Can I answer your question? It does, but it actually brings up a lot of other questions. All right, we got a personal force field. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. Welcome to the practice family reunion. <laughs> I'm calling off the mission. Relax. You do your thing. I'll keep them busy. Who likes fairy tales? Whoa! Yeah, that's going to go really bad. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> you 
was there. That guy ratted us out, so I killed that guy. Then everyone saw me kill that guy, so I killed everyone. You gotta end the bloodline and prevent any revenge killing. I mean, that's just evil 101. Uh, I taught that class at Boston. <laughs> we never covered anything this fucked up. All right, guys, come on. Take a look. Make sure I got everyone. Make sure they all dead. Uh, yep, yep, oh. yep. You killed the shit out of everyone. Let's go. There we go. Go get them, boys. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Thing or BS. So, oh, uh, you think I was King Shark right? can't deal with it either. That's good. Oh, come on, up top. Guess what? I decided to stick around a little while longer. Help you get that weather machine. Oh, best. Wow, then now that's fun, Harley, right? That's what King Shark is completely <laughs> I love it. He's completely distraught. What's up? You know, I have you got a line, huh? Hey guys. She has a line. Superheroes have a line. Teen Titans have a line. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, maybe I just give like a micro Legion of Doom zero fuck. If you want to get in there, you better start pole vaulting over those lines you don't want to cross. Is that for Mama Mia? Thank you for your counsel, but I believe this is <laughs> I hope we can remain friends. Oh, I love Clayface. Am I mm. these assholes, Pockgren? I think I cleared myself. Okay, I'll oh. be on my merry way. But you're making a big mistake. Rapunzel, Rumpelstiltskin, let's go tear some shit up. <laughs> can, we, can we just do the movie? Let's do the movie. Fine. We're here. I wanted to take you out for tandem. Excuse me, sir. Maybe I'm listed under man. <laughs> Actually, easier said than done. Um, <laughs> hey, what's he doing here? I thought he was loyal to Fables. He's a mercenary, loyal to the almighty dollar. An adorable little soldier of fortune, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> if it wasn't lasers, it was gonna be lung cancer. I've never seen a mouse smoke unfiltered human-sized cigarettes to that degree. Okay, guys, you know if my my brother's gonna accept my lasers, I don't know. Do you, do you see the fun? Like, lasers? Do you think? Get your fuck on! I mean, we're friends. Sometimes doing whatever it takes me. Fucking over your friend. Hand over that weather oh. machine. Over my dead body. All right, how you wanna go? Little Bo Peep could beat the shit out of you with her shepherd stick. Just tell me if you want to get open or close. Who the hell are you? I am Jason Praxis, last surviving member of the 25th annual Praxis family reunion and jamboree. Who? You murdered all of my family. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> my buzzer is oh. for you. Who's hungry but doesn't have a reservation? Is your Riddler looking well? Right this way. <laughs> you know what? It's cool. Oh. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Uh, maybe you could just drop your name. I know. Is that weird yeah, for me to? A little bit. Yeah, I just booze the hat. Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? Can we talk about this? <laughs> now he gets it. Oh my God. No. You are embarrassed. No. Is there even washroom <laughs> under that trench coat? You hurt his feelings. You kite me out. Look, you think I'm some dealer's piece of shit. They can hurt him. I don't think that shit. That's why you're always in the what? The, the bloodline. The motherfucking bloodline. Yes. My family was crazy. I do like you. Like, like, like. I mean, we've had sex. Nice. Okay, uh, <laughs> Bill. Hell okay, yeah. Hey, I'm Ivy. I'm I'm his girlfriend. Hell yeah. Tell me I avenged my family. Uh yeah. Thank God. I can finally start. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, now I'm going. So what did I miss? <laughs> yeah, try that. Too many failed login attempts. Initiating self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, with us.
Hey there, thanks for staying with us. Hopefully you liked our reaction. Now it's the portion of Elevated Daily where we do our review. So we're giving this episode five out of five high guys. This was a great episode. This was probably one of the best episodes out there. I was laughing again from beginning to end. This episode starts with Harley Quinn breaking out the Queen of Fables because the Queen's been her mentor and friend for the last couple of years. And she figures, you know, she's been locked in there for 30 years. She deserves to go ahead and be free. Harley hopes that the Queen can help her get into the Legion of Doom, but soon realizes that the Queen is way more violent and evil than she thought. Like Harley says, I'm a bad guy, but I'm not a bad person. And that's the whole arc of this episode. I mean, Harley Quinn sees that the queen is evil as hell and murders an entire family talking about wiping out the bloodline to make sure there's no possibility for revenge. <laughs> Harley tells her like, you know, that's a twisted, twisted thing that you do, but the queen wants to try and teach Harley a lesson about line crossing and what it takes to be a real supervillain like the Legion of Doom. Meanwhile, our second plot is Ivy and Kite Man. Ivy's dating Kite Man, but she's trying to keep it under the radar because she's quite embarrassed about it. <laughs> Ivy's dressing up like a 40s housewife, trying to keep everything on the low key. When Kite Man can't get into the dinner reservations, he finds out that Ivy won't throw her name around because she's embarrassed to be with him. That destroys him. <laughs> and it's messed up to watch. You have Ivy and Kite Man's awkward and emotional date. And then we have the plot of Harley and the super uber duper violent Queen of Fables. And Harley's trying to find out how bad is she? This episode covers a lot. We cover morality, we cover loyalty and friendship, and what it means to go ahead and love in a dark and humorous kind of way with Kite Man. We come to Harley deciding, am I gonna be a hardened true killer and a, a super criminal like I want? Or this episode ends up in a twist that sets up next episode as well. Harley manages to outwit the Queen of Fables, but she lets her leave and she gives her her life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Queen of Fables comes back and she kills that last remaining family member of the Praxis family because she, you know how she is about wiping out the bloodline. <laughs> so what did we think of this episode? Well, personally, we loved it. It was funny, it was action-packed, it was emotional, and it had great character development. It also provided us with some shocking and unexpected moments, such as the wolf and, and the queen of how violent she is, Kite Man and Ivy's awkward date night. This episode was indeed elevated. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me, folks. Again, I am Gabe, and I'm Elevated Daily. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to hang with me, and I appreciate that. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Drop me a line. Let me know what you think of the show, and let me know what you think of our show as well, so we can go ahead and continue to produce more of these videos. Well, thanks for staying with us. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you hung with us for a few minutes. We appreciate that. Again, I'm Gabe and I'm Elevated Daily. You stay safe out there and stay elevated. Daily.